Hi, I'm Carol with the Child Creativity Lab and today we're going to make a scale and we'll be needing a few different things that we'll talk about here in a minute but what we're going to really do today is an experiment that deals with mass and density and weight and how different items even if they're the same size and shape might weigh a completely different amount and have a different density. So that's what we're going to do some experimenting about today. Um, so you're going to be an, uh, an engineer and make a scale and you're also going to be a scientist and do some experiments. Okay, these are the tools and things we are going to need to make our scale. So two plastic cups or plastic containers, a hanger, some type of string, yarn, ribbon. Um, you need at least two yards. Um, that's about six feet. You'll need at least that much of your material. You're gonna need a pencil and some paper to take some notes for your experiment and a hole punch. So if you can gather those materials, that would be great. All right, to build your scale, you need two cups or two containers that are exactly the same. And then we talked about having two yards of a string or ribbon or um, some type of yarn. And you need at least two yards and you're going to cut them, and cut that two yards into two equal sections. So about three feet each. Okay, then you're gonna take one of these. So you're gonna take your cup and you're going to punch a hole in your cup, turn it around and go straight across and punch another hole. And do that with both cups, punch a hole. All right, then you're gonna take your string, insert it through, insert it through. Bring your ends together and then just bring them together and make one simple knot up at the top and make sure that it's nice and tight. All right, just like that. And then you're gonna do that with both cups. All right, we've got our cups, got our hanger, we've got a marked A and B. So we have our scale. So you really need some place to hang this. I ended up just pulling out a drawer in my kitchen and hanging it on a drawer knob. That seemed to work pretty good. So there's some interesting things that are, we're going to experiment about. So we have a ping pong ball and a golf ball, both basically the exact same size, um, what we say the same mass, so they occupy the same amount of space, but one is very light and one is quite heavy. So the golf ball is much more dense. So what we want to experiment with is when we put our ping pong ball in a cup and our golf ball in a cup, what's going to happen with our scale? Will cup A be higher or cup A be lower? What do you think is going to happen? Think about gravity. What does gravity do? It's going to pull on the objects and pull them down towards the Earth's core. So make an estimate, give a guess. We call it a hypothesis of what's going to happen. And then we'll go ahead and do some experiments. Okay, I've got my scale set up on a pole on a drawer in my kitchen. That seems to be working pretty good. You could use a door handle as well in the hallway, or if you're lucky enough to be able to put a nail or a screw in your wall and you can put your scale right on the wall in your house, that works too. So our first experiment that we're going to do is between a golf ball, which is the white one down there on the floor, or a ping pong ball, which is the blue ball on the floor. Now, as you can see, basically the same size, they have the same mass, but they're different densities. One is relatively light and one is pretty heavy. So 
just to make an experiment out of this, which one do you think will be the heaviest? And what will happen to the cups when we put one in the cup A and one in cup B? Which cup will sink farther? What force of nature is in play when we do this? Well, it's gravity. Gravity is pulling the balls towards the earth. And the more dense the ball, the more gravity pulls it to the earth. Okay, so let's drop them in there. Cup A is going to get the ping pong ball. And cup B, going to get the golf ball. And as you can see, cup B with the golf ball in it, way heavier. Same size objects, but completely different densities. Let's try it again with a block of paraffin and a block of foam. Which one do you think is denser, which one will weigh more? Okay, paraffin in this one. Woo! Foam in this one. As you can see, paraffin, much denser. Same mass, same size, but it weighs a lot more. Gravity pulls on the denser item. Let's try one more. It's fun to do experiments. It helps us learn about things. It helps us learn what's heavier, what has more mass, what items tend to be more dense. So here we have some corks and some tubes of metal. Which ones do you think will be heavier, the corks in cup A or the metal in cup B? Okay, so corks, cup A, metal, cup B. And even though the corks seem to be bigger, have more mass, the metal, since it was denser, is heavier. Pretty interesting. See what you can find around your house to compare their mass and their density. Thanks for joining us here at the Child Creativity Lab. I hope you learned a little something about mass and density and weight. Um, if you had some really good results to your experiments, please post them on our site so we can hear about it and learn from you what worked for you. And we'll see you back here next time. Thanks so much.